Hey everybody, this is Kelly from the MacUniverse.com and today I'm going to be unboxing a product from Zag. I'm going to be unboxing the Zag Mate for the iPad 2 and um, I also have a little announcement for you guys. We're going to be giving one of these away. Uh, Zag went ahead and partnered with us and uh, they're going to be giving away either an iPad 1 or an iPad 2 Zag Mate uh, keyboard case. So what you see here that I'm unboxing, we're also going to be giving one away. Uh, and we will have the details on the MacUniverse.com later this week. And uh, we're also going to have a review of the product later this week as well. So why don't we get to the unboxing and uh, go from there. So I went ahead and cut the tape here. Just to save some time. But I haven't opened it up. And uh, so let's see what's in here. Uh, pull that out okay. and here's the product and that appears to be all very minimal uh, shipping box so let's take it off this plastic and let's not put it around the baby's head <laughs> um, okay so looks like they uh, partner with Logitech so it's Logitech keyboard case but they also call it the Zagmate on uh, the Zag website so you can see here by Zag, and this one's for the iPad 2. And uh, so let's get a closer look of it. It's the packaging. And you can see the product through the window. And here on the back, so you can see it's a Bluetooth keyboard. Okay, so let's open this up here. Okay, there we go. Let's slide it out. See, is there anything else in here? Uh, there's a paper in here. Looks like. Okay, and now it looks like it's everything. So they have a uh, little instruction pamphlet in here. It's just how to get started. And uh, over here shows you the express keys. Since this keyboard is kind of like the Apple keyboard, it has a uh, shortcut keys for the brightness and the volume and uh, other function of iOS so um, let's see let's take this off here it's a little piece of tape a USB cord and uh, this appears to be I get the tape off my hand <laughs> um, I'm going to assume that these are a little feet maybe put on the bottom uh, of the case. Okay, so, so we have this USB cable here. It looks like it's a micro USB and not a mini. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's a micro USB and then regular USB on the other side. Okay, so this must be to charge it up here. Yeah, see there's the USB port. Since this is battery powered. So here's the case. It doubles as a case and a keyboard. So let's see if we can get a shot of the keyboard here. We have a uh, say for the home button and then search. Uh, photos. I, I guess that uh, brings up slideshows um, or puts it to sleep or acts like a screensaver, I think. On your iPad and then we have the software keyboard uh, cut copy and paste undo and redo this key here is blank um, this is your media controls for the iPod so previous next and pause and play and then we also have the um, audio level up and down volume controls and then we also have the lock screen and then it's regular uh, QWERTY keyboard after that.
And uh, there it has a little uh, command key, just like the Mac. So that's that. And then up here we have uh, the on and off switch. And then we have the USB connect and the status lights. USB, I'm sorry, I mean uh, Bluetooth connect um, and the status lights. It might also charge, it might light up um, when you charge it, I'm not sure. And uh, then here, this is where we put the iPad. And this here looks like it's a, you pop this up and then you can rest the iPad against it. And then you have two different uh, levels that you can sit the iPad at. So there's that, and then it looks like uh, on the side here we have a cutout for the headphone jack of the iPad, and then as I showed earlier, the USB, and nothing on this side. And then we have a dock cutout for the dock cable, and that's that. Um, and I believe that they put a magnet in this model. So that for the iPad 2, when you pull the iPad out of the case, it'll actually turn it on, kind of like the smart cover. And uh, here's the back. It's just flat, matte finish, and uh, then it has a zag engraving. So there's that. So why don't we uh, turn it on, see if it's got juice. It does look like it has a little bit of juice. Okay, I'm gonna put the iPad in and see what we can do. Okay, I have my iPad 2 here, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the smart cover off. And uh, let's try to put this in the case. So, when you're not using the keyboard, looks like you just pop it in there like so. And, that's it, you're protected. And you have a keyboard case with you when you need it. And the iPad doesn't seem to fall out, so that's good. <laughs> and uh, to open it, pop it open like that, and it turned it on. So that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's, let's see if we can set this up. And take it for a whirl. So hopefully you can see that here. Okay, I'm gonna go into setting. And uh, let's connect the keyboard. Go into oops. Go into general and then Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth on. And uh, it's searching for a device. Let's click on the connect the button. And there it goes, it sees it already. That's pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair it. Okay, it wants me to type in a code. Three, seven, and hit enter. And it appears to be connected, so let's try it out. Hey, there you go. If you tap on the home button, and or double tap on it, It'll bring up the multitask menu. That takes you to search. That's cool. Okay. Um, let's see. There's slideshow. All right. So let's uh, see what it can do. Let's open up pages. And let's uh, create a new document. Mm, let's do a blank one here. All right. The zag. Zag keyboard. And, uh, all right, so see if we hit, um, select all. And if we hit cut, hit cut it, you can undo, you can redo it, 
we can also let's say we want to redo that and we want to select it and then copy it and put it on new line and hit paste there you go that's pretty cool and uh, we can adjust the volume and we'll play some music So you can play some music while you work, or you can hit the lock button and then go straight to your lock screen, or it'll put it to sleep. And uh, the home button wakes it up, or the lock button, any button really, it'll um, wake it back up from sleep. And uh, so let's, if you hit the um, search button here, it'll take you directly to the iPad search on the home screen. So you can go search for something here and uh, then if you double tap you can go to the multitask menu and then go back to your project and uh, you, so you can type away and uh, then say if you want to search something like pickles I guess. If you want to search for pickles you can search the web and I spilled pickles wrong. That's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Search for pickles and uh, oh wow, you know, there's a Wikipedia article on it. And I wanted to add it to my project, so that's how quick and easy this is here. I pasted it right in. That's pretty cool. Um, where can I do that? Say so if I placed it in the wrong spot or wanted to do it here and there you go um, something else you can also use these arrow keys uh, let's see if you can see it here uh, if you use the arrow keys you can actually let's pick it up let's see I'm touching the arrow keys now so you can move lines around on the iPad so if you're in pages or Safari or maybe another word processor or something like that you can uh, move your cursor around with the keyboard. So that makes it a lot easier um, than having to, to tap on everything all the time. So um, that's pretty much it. That's the, uh, that's the Zagmate keyboard case for the iPad 2. Um, and like I said, we're going to be having a giveaway on the Mac Universe. And uh, so stay tuned for that. And we'll have more details on that later this week, again, at themacuniverse.com. And I'd like to personally thank Zag for hooking us up with this keyboard case and uh, partnering with us to do this giveaway. So stay tuned, and we'll have more information in the future. Thanks.